What's up guys and welcome to Necro. Necro is a really cool ARPG style game. Um, it was actually one of the first games I've ever seen on Kickstarter and do Kickstarter successfully. Same thing with Steam Greenlight. It made its way through Greenlight and now it's on Steam. So why don't we check it out? It actually came out yesterday, but hey, I can only, you know, have the time to cover it today. That's still cool that you can find it in the link to the description. Pick it up yourself. It is early access. So, or beta, whatever you want to call it, uh, 0.7.87 is the current build. Why don't we go into single player? I have not tried the multiplayer because you have to, like, you know, have somebody who has an IP hosted and all set up. So maybe I'll have another video on that at some other point in time. But right now, I'm just going to do the single player, and we're just going to continue. I have a uh, melee class. Of Mario 499, entry three. In his magnum opus, Life. The philosopher Baron Bodicey once famously asked, What is life? How does it differ from death? The question itself is non cubatory Life is, as I am alive, I am not dead. Therefore, life and death's fundamental difference is inappertinent. I must disagree, as I am no longer alive, yet the throes of death have yet to take me. Maybe I'll raise the good Bodicey and see how he feels on the subject now. I'd venture his views have been somewhat altered. Okay, and that was our little voice acting. There's a lot of good voice acting in the game. And, you know, a lot of there's been very few things that have been large paragraphs so you have to read yourself. There's always some person there to read it for you. And I don't mind that. Sometimes I appreciate that. But um, it always starts you out on the screen every level, and it is level based. You just kill everything in the level, and then it says level complete, and then you get to upgrade stuff next time. And I have two trinkets to pick from, and these trinkets might help me. This one slows people. What does this one do? Uh, Lord of the Fungus, uh, the Death Cat Mushroom injects a crippling poison into its victim. I'm actually going to keep with the slowing since I'm a melee person. This will help, but I actually can equip both of them. Okay. So now I can also upgrade my health, damage, but I'm going to do the health this time. I fell a little low on health last time, so I'm going to do that. So, you know, you get all this different information. I'm not going to worry about any of this right now because I don't think I have enough sins. Uh, I have eight sins, but I don't know. I guess I'll unlock one of these. These are your main spells. They are actually summonable creatures, and they are used as spells. Summons a flying acidic demon that can be lobbed at a target area, slowing all nearby enemies. The air bane costs no blood to use, but instead is summoned by causing damage. And summons a massive, immobile feeding mouth to consume the target every C seconds. Meat mouth will automatically perform a chomp attack. Limited spawn. I'm actually going to do this just because there's no blood. Okay, and cool, and then here we can just start. This will give you a good summarization of the level, but I don't really need to read much of that right now. Your trinket is ready to be used. Okay, excellent. So this is Necro. Your trinket is ready to be used. This actually made its way through Steam Greenlight and also made its way through Kickstarter. I don't remember how many, how much money it made. Uh. I don't know, I, I, I'd, give, I'd give a good guess at like 250,000, I think. It's been a long time since it made its way through Greenlight. But uh, it works like an ARPG, you know, I can come over here and I can click on people and kill them. Um, instead of mana, I have blood, which I harvest from enemies, so after I kill them, I want to eat them alive. And won't, that will only revitalize my health, but give me some blood. And we got some guy coming up in over here, so I'm actually going to use one of my summonables on this pumpkin to turn it alive. And that's very cool. And now I can just start attacking and hacking away at this guy as the pumpkin. It really does the majority of the work. And it's like now I can kill him, or he's dead, I can eat him, and he will give me blood. And like I said, that will revitalize my health, give me some more blood, and that'll be awesome. And then I can use another summonable on this thing right here. Now, I did want to take a second to just sort of take in everything. The game looks very nice, and it sounds just as nice. The audio and the music is very nice. I enjoyed the music quite a bit. Just want to get as much blood as possible so I can summon some things. Now, when we do kill somebody, we can actually use our corpse instead of eating it to summon a monster on it, just in case, like, maybe there's, like, five people over here, and I kill this one guy, I can, like, summon my dark seed on it, and then bring those guys over there and have a super powered dark seed because I summoned it on a dead body. And you got pretty cool concepts like that. Of course, I could pick a different class when you start. You, pick, you can pick a different class. You know, there's some range classes, stuff like that. But I like melee for some reason in ARPGs. So that's what I picked up. 
But of course, I garner souls, as you can see here, on the top of the screen. And what all that'll do is basically, like, I can, um, get all those and I use those to level up. They're my experience points for leveling. So let me use my second summon. And basically, we earn these summons and they count as sort of our spells. They will be what we use in combat besides our basic attacks. I can also do this. Ooh, come over here. Reminds me of Pudge from Dota 2. But uh, besides that, we also have a quick dodge. And everything's pretty simple. You know, nothing was over complex, nothing was sort of confusing at all, so I was very happy about that. We have this really fun setup, and it's pretty diverse with what you can do. You know, the, the trees you can go down, and the different summonables you can choose for yourself. But still being pretty simple, I feel like that's a very big plus. Okay, so you can see, I have never faced that guy before. He sort of looks scary. So I'm gonna cross over and kill that guy. And what I'm gonna use that guy for is a um is to kill him and use his body to uh plant one of those dark seeds okay let's try to do this now oh there it goes okay now plant a dark seed there and that's gonna be super powered all right cool and it looks like i could use my trinket now to slow them down but i'm gonna hold off on it for now Okay, so I can use like a trinket now if I was really worried. It's like, oh boy, I don't think I'm gonna be able to survive this. Let me quickly use a trinket. I can only use these trinkets once per level, it seems though. Oh, look at this pit of tar. Like, I like how the graphics look. Has a nice art style. Ooh, he stunned me. Has a nice art style along with just a, like a really nice level of graphical detail. Okay, this guy's got me down to one HP. Gotta get out of here. Hopefully he can do the work for me. Give him one of those, and another one of those. And how low of health, he just does a lot of health. So let me keep throwing these at him. Well, this guy's very strong. Come on, oh no, he has literally like, <laughs> oh my god. Get him, there you go, no. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And can I get some blood for that? Thank you. Got some nice health for that. What's over here? Uh, is there any map I can pull up? That's another thing. I haven't seen a map at all. Party hat required beyond this point. Did I find an Easter egg? A harvest fair? Give me this. Give me, give me, give me a hat. Give me a hat. They're gonna try to beat me up, though. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. There we go. Uh, oh gosh, so I can only use one trinket. Even I can't... Like, okay, there is a... Uh, respawn point but uh now that i use that green trinket i can't use it ever again or at least in this level okay this really isn't turning out too well for me maybe i should have gotten another health upgrade okay oh boy there we go okay i stunned him keep using this oh no this is getting pretty intense though Come on, come on, he's almost dead, yeah! All right, and he gives some decent health, nice. Okay, so I guess you guys are getting the idea. I can also move the camera around. Oh, there's a map right here. I'm a blind person sometimes. Okay, so before I go over there then, why don't I check out what was over here? It seems to be pretty diverse. There's a lot of things in the map for me to explore. This one's definitely the coolest level so far because of that. But probably wanna kill these chickens because they'll be a good source of health. Hmm. Oh. Okay, this guy wants to come at me. If you want to tussle, we can tussle. Oh, but he might beat my butt. Oh gosh. But I know I really enjoyed this game so far. I didn't really know what to expect going into it. Like, I didn't know if it was going to be really good, really bad. I've heard some good things about it, but I've played a good amount of ARPGs as well. I've been playing Van Helsing. I've been playing, uh, I've been playing Torchlight. I've only put a little tiny bit of Diablo. So, you know, I have some ARPG experience in my blood. You know, in my bones, I have that ARPG thrill. So it's like, I'm not I'm not a stranger to it, but I'm not the, the most comfortable with it either. Okay, let's eat these chickens while he's distracted by my plant. You get over here, chicken. I really need this, so I'm glad it's here. All right. Hmm, okay. This is working out okay. Get him before he turns around. Oh no, <laughs> the cow's still attacking me. 
Oh gosh. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. Don't die, don't die. Yeah, we got him. All right. Things are turning out pretty okay now. We got majority of our health back. But we are running out of blood though. I guess the blood is mana, basically. So it looks like we got everything just about over here. We just gotta eat this guy. Thank you. Okay, and we'll be on our way. Another thing I really like is the design of my character. It reminds me of a... Uh, it reminds me of, what's his name? Uh, Bloodseeker from Dota 2. <laughs> All the Dota 2 references, I guess, with Pudge and now Bloodseeker. Um, I don't know, there was something about it that was pretty cool. I just like how he has no face, he just has like this needle. That's very cool. I forget what his name is, though. it's like Forsaken or Forbidden or something like that. Overall, really cool character though. I like the design and this uniqueness of everything. And this guy's still alive, he's just staring at me. Okay, well now I'm pretty full on all that kind of stuff I got. Good blood, I have everything full actually. That was a very nice idea to go over here, I guess. Hmm, what do we got going on? A lot of stuff. So I'm gonna try taking out this guy. Let's see how well I can do that. Okay, and I'm gonna spawn one of those guys on. And that'll help, I think. Oh gosh, don't, don't do that, don't do that. Those seem to be some physics-based stuff, though. You can see the hammers sort of bounce off. And that's pretty interesting. Alright, let's take out this big guy. They're both big guys. Oh, and my, my thing died. They, these guys are super strong. I, I mean, the level is definitely more diverse. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Definitely more, more diverse level this time, and definitely a lot more difficult. I'm gonna have to use these guys for health. I can't use them as corpses. I'm gonna have to eat them like this guy. And then him. There we go. Oh, and I got a jar of filth recipe. Cool, that's another trinket, I guess. Hmm, what's going on here? We do have some farmers. Farmers are a lot easier to handle. Very weak. There we go. Okay, let's eat them up. That's very useful. Okay. But now we do have still a few more people over here to deal with, right? Yep. This is so silly. This is a very, very silly. Why is it a party? It's just a farmer's fair. A harvest fair. Okay. That's silly. I love that. That's the thing is the game is very silly though. It has a lot of jokes and never takes itself seriously. And this looks like to be our last guy. So let's see how well we can take that take him out. Okay. There we go, he's going down pretty quick now. Come on. We can do it. Hooray and victory. Now we can uh, end the level. But first let's dance. Okay. All right, the haunted box has been completed. And then it gives us a little stat page, which is pretty cool. I can appreciate that. Ooh, and we got a little hammer too. That's awesome. I'm guessing we got the hammer that the guy was throwing. That's cool. I appreciate that too. 8th of Warlu, 499 entry four. After the most recent chaos, I find that I'm enjoying my newly anointed powers. This both frightens and intrigues me. As a servant of my former god, Gutheros, I was compelled to abandon such savage instincts. Now that I'm in clear services, I have come to embrace my base nature. However, I cannot allow myself to become corrupted by it. Greed and a lust for power is what drives all those at Viticulture, the next place I have deemed unworthy of life on my hellish march. A once simple town, now suffocated under the tyrannical rule of the Right Honorable, the Lord Mayor Biscuit, whose pomposity knows no bounds. Perhaps I shall enjoy a nice cup of tea with my newly burned Biscuit. 
we're gonna wipe some faces. So now just brings us back to the screen where we can upgrade different minions or whatever we want to do. We can do that here. And then it just recycles, we go to a new level, blah 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 blah, like I just showed you. And that's Necro. It has this good rhythm to it. I really like it. Definitely will be playing more and more of it as it continues in its beta phase. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and maybe comment on your thoughts on the game if you're gonna be picking it up. Thank you guys so much for watching though. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.